Precision is key to most human activities. However, healthcare still implements a one-size-fits-all system with implications for patients. Personalized medicine promises to transform the delivery of healthcare in this respect. This is where the European research project EASIS comes in. EASIS brought together experts from five countries working in the fields of medicine, genetics, neuroscience and artificial intelligence. What does the EASIS project do? Nowadays, we have large amounts of available data, medical records and images, genomics and open data such as scientific publications. Through EASIS, artificial intelligence was used to turn medical big data into useful knowledge for healthcare. Which diseases is EASIS concerned with? EASIS tested this approach in two disease areas, lung cancer and Alzheimer's. These are two diseases of high impact where personalized therapies are needed. What difficulties do oncologists meet? In lung cancer treatment, we are faced with various complications. We need to take into account toxicities, comorbidities, and side effects, so as to decide whether we should propose a treatment. What difficulties do neurologists face? The management of Alzheimer's disease is fraught with difficulties. Probably the most important of these is the need to make the diagnosis early. This allows people to get access to the support that they need, but it also allows them to take part in clinical trials, which, the earlier they're conducted in the disease, the more likely they are to be successful. The second problem is that of misdiagnosis, which is very common. How did ESC's partners collaborate? In order to address these challenges, EASIS brought together experts from different disciplines. Oncologists from the Spanish Lung Cancer Group and Madrid's Health Service provided expertise and data concerning lung cancer. Neurologists and specialists in dementia from St. George's University of London provided insights from aggregated patient data and specialist knowledge to help technical teams integrate the information into the system. Alzheimer's Research UK has considered the policy implications of these new insights. The Polytechnic University of Madrid and the Center for Genomic Regulation in Spain collaborated to analyze the clinical data and decipher the genetic code for the two diseases. The researchers at NCSR Democritus in Greece have enriched the extracted knowledge with information from open databases and the scientific literature. The University of Hanover in Germany, in collaboration with the University of Maryland in the US, provided a unique database to bring all this information together, creating the so-called EASIS Knowledge Graph. How does the EASIS platform help doctors? The Athens Technology Center has built a user-friendly platform that delivers the results of the aforementioned tasks to end users. In the EASIS platform, we can input information on how specific factors influence a patient's prognosis. This can help us make better decisions for a patient's treatment, leading to better survival rates. Factors that affect the onset of Alzheimer's disease, such as age, gender, smoking, alcohol consumption, can also be used to predict the course of the disease and therefore improve a patient's quality of life. The combination of artificial intelligence and medicine can offer tailored diagnostic tools and personalized therapies. The ambition of the project is for this approach to be applied also to other diseases. This will lead to better health outcomes and improved treatments for patients around the world.